there are many, many theories about how to price a product when you're in business. It's not just about what the product costs and adding your percentage of markup to it and then putting the sign and hope for itself. It's understanding a much deeper position. It's understanding who your consumer is, what they're looking for, maybe how much are they prepared to spend. And then it gets into the world of, are you selling a product which is a commodity item or are you selling a product which is kind of unique? Once you have a known value item, which everybody else have, uh, has got, you're really committed to staying within that price range because customers know and expect and understand the price of that product. If you've got a product which is unique to you, which maybe you are producing, like we're producing wine here, it's not just about the cost of the production of the wine. It's understanding that consumer, understanding probably the most important words are supply and demand. Now, if you've got a business that's run by an accountant, many times they're running that business from the back shop, doing the numbers, and they'll tell you what to sell a product for. I'm not a believer of accountants running a business. I'm a believer of the consumer running my business, and I'm listening to what they're saying. All that stuff, you kind of put it all together, and then let's say I've got a production cost of something that costs $18 a bottle. Do I sell it at 29 or do I sell it at 35 or 39 there are threshold points when you are pricing as you understand your consumer of where you can go with the price. Will it affect the sales differently going from you know, $9.99 to $12.99? Maybe, maybe that threshold point $9.99 could be a magic trigger point in a consumer's mind. To go to that bigger number, you've got to question it and sometimes test the market because you don't always get it right every time. So the answer to how we price stuff is very, very complex. It's really being tuned in to your product, living it, understanding it, watching it move. You can learn so much from the consumer by listening to what they say about your product, that they perceive it as good value. Is it uh, out of sight? Are they not gonna buy that? It's way too expensive. Learning from your customers is a way to kind of evaluate a price, not just what the product costs you.